Hello, my name is Shalene Aaron, Celebration Specialist with Party City. I am here to show you how to make a balloon column. So fun, so easy. But first I wanted to tell you, did you know that Party City now offers event planning? Just click the link below and schedule a free consultation. I can help you with event styling, balloon installations, on-site assistance, and more. So today for this balloon column, these are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need to purchase a balloon column kit from Party City, of course, and you will need to purchase balloons in whatever colors of the theme that you are creating. Today I am doing a football column and this um, in the theme of my hometown, the Kansas City Chiefs. So I've got red and gold and the kit does tell you how many balloons it accommodates. So it says 32, 32 balloons, 32 12 inch balloons. However, I wanted to switch it up a little bit and I did um, added some smaller balloons in. So I used the red 12 inch balloons and then I used the yellow nine inch balloons. But if you depends on what type of look you want, so you can tailor it the way and customize it the way you want. And then, so the kit has everything you need except for the balloons and an air pump. You can use a regular hand pump, or you can use an electric pump like this, which will blow up the balloons much quicker. So um, those are the things that you need. And then for the top part. You want to add a larger balloon, so you'll need a 24 inch balloon or you can use a foil balloon, which is what I used and you will see that um, later on in the, in the tutorial. And a couple of things to keep in mind, um, you do not want to over inflate the balloons and um, sometimes you can double stuff the balloons and that will kind of give them a, a really nice uh, different effect and the balloon, the balloon column will probably last anywhere for up to two to four weeks, just depending on where it is and um, the temperature and everything like that. So why don't we get started? I can't wait to see um, your balloon columns after you re look at this tutorial. Okay, so now that we have the balloons blown up and we have the pole column put together, um, I did fill this base with water. This is the uh, weight to hold the column down. And then I put these together, this pole together. Simple instructions come in the box, super easy. And just use these little screws to screw it in. So. Um, you have these discs that I showed you earlier and they have holes on them and you just put the ends of the balloons in these holes and it'll be four on each one and you just work your way up. On this one I'm going to do red and yellow for the um, football team, you know my hometown team, the Chiefs colors and we're going to do red big and then the yellow will be smaller balloons and then red then yellow so here we go
Okay, so we basically have the column built. Um, since I chose to use the smaller balloons, we do have um, some gaps in here, so I'm just gonna fill those in. If I had used all 12 inch balloons, which is what the box suggests, um, 32 12 inch balloons, then it, the space would have been filled up a lot um, better, but I wanted to spice it up a little bit and so use the smaller ones in between here. So now we're just gonna fill in with some more of the little yellow ones. So yeah, you, I mean, you can do it as the box says, and then you can um, switch it up to change it to a look that you want. So now we're gonna just fill in, and I am using glue dots. So we're gonna use some of this, and we're just gonna stick it onto the balloons in different places and then I will stick it and just kind of fill in where I think it will look best. Okay, now we're going to put the last piece on at the top and then I will put the big foil balloon through here but I need the screws to secure this and um, then we'll get the balloon, top balloon. Okay, right, now our column is made and we are going to put our topper on. Mm -hmm. 